The United States and Spain are great friends and close allies. Our bonds, culture, and commerce go back many centuries. Our schools teach American children about Spain's history of exploration. Our museums treasure beautiful Spanish works of art and your country's contributions to architecture, music, and film are admired all over the world. It's a greatly admired country. The deep relationship between our two people is a strong foundation for lasting cooperation. On behalf of the American people, I want to express our support and extend our prayers to all of those affected by the vile terror attack in Spain last month. I want to assure the people of Spain that America stands with you in confronting this evil that threatens all of humanity. We will continue to deny the terrorists their funding, their territory, and any form of support for their wicked ideology. In this common fight, America greatly appreciates Spain's contribution to the coalition to defeat ISIS. Spanish troops and police have trained more than 30,000 members of the Iraqi security forces. We also thank the Spanish people for being such gracious hosts to the American service members stationed at Spanish bases. The United States and Spain together face many critical dangers and challenges, from North Korea to Iran to Venezuela. We thank Spain for its recent decision to expel its North Korean ambassador and for standing with us in our efforts to isolate the brutal North Korean regime. It is time for all responsible nations to join forces to isolate the North Korean menace. North Korean nuclear weapons and missile development threaten the entire world with unthinkable loss of life. All nations must act now to ensure the regime's complete denuclearization. I appreciate the United Nations Security Council voting twice, unanimously, 15 to nothing, twice, to adopt hard-hitting resolutions against North Korea. I have recently issued tough new sanctions against those who do business with this outlaw regime, and I applaud China's latest action to restrict its trade with North Korea. And in particular, I applaud China for breaking off all banking relationships with North Korea, something that people would have thought unthinkable even two months ago. I want to thank President Xi. Here in the Western Hemisphere, we have seen the heartbreaking tragedy of Maduro's socialist rule in Venezuela. Spain has been especially helpful in promoting the interests and well-being of the Venezuelan people, and we thank you for your efforts. We hope our friends in the EU will soon follow the United States, Canada, and many Latin American nations in sanctioning the Maduro regime. We need everybody involved. The citizens of Venezuela have endured immense suffering, poverty, starvation, and dangerous political unrest under Maduro's oppressive socialist regime. Together, Spain and the United States hope for peace, for the restoration of democracy, and for the release of all political prisoners. Wherever socialism spreads, misery follows. The people of Venezuela deserve a future of freedom. These are great people. In the economic arena, we support trade that benefits both Spain and the United States, which means it must be fair and it must be reciprocal. Such an important word. Hasn't been used very much in the United States. Reciprocal. Spain is the tenth largest investor in the United States, and I commend Spanish business leaders for their confidence in America and the American worker, and considering the fact that our stock market has just hit all-time highs, I think they probably like the United States very much right now. This is a time for both tremendous opportunity for our world, but also serious dangers. As I said at the United Nations, which future really is up to us, 
if we empower our citizens, serve their needs, and appeal to all that is best in the human spirit, then I have no doubt we will succeed like never, ever before. Mr. President, I look forward to working with you to build this future of prosperity and peace for both Spain and for the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.